The blockchain Ethereum moves trillions of dollars around the world every year, rivaling traditional finance heavyweights like MasterCard and Visa. Over the last few years, Ethereum has become the home of all sorts of cutting-edge projects, including NFTs, decentralized finance, and decentralized autonomous organizations. But it's also emerged as a vehicle for money laundering, billion-dollar scams, and shameless displays of wealth. Vitalik Buterin, the founder of Ethereum, understands all of this, that his vision for the transformative power of Ethereum is at risk of being overtaken by greed, and so he has reluctantly begun to take on a bigger public role in shaping its future. We are a community and ultimately we do have like a say of in what things we put more resources towards. And like if we don't exercise um, that voice, then you know the only things that get built are like the things that are immediately profitable. And like the, that, that it, like those are definitely far from often far from like the things that are actually the best for the world. Buterin was born in Russia in 1994 and immigrated to Toronto, Canada as a child. He was recognized early on as a math prodigy. He got his first computer at age four and was programming at age 12. In 2014, Buterin and a group of co-founders built Ethereum with the hopes that it would become an open source global supercomputer on which programmers could build anything they wished. But Buterin had to defend his vision against the other founders who wanted to build crypto's answer to Google. Like in the case of founding Ethereum, like probably the biggest divide definitely was that like a lot of these other people cared about making money. Um, and uh, um, like for me, that was totally not my goal. And like for me, like I there were even like times at the beginning where I was like I was negotiating down the uh, percent the the percentages of the uh, ETH distribution that like both myself and the other top level founders would get because I wanted to be more egalitarian. Uh, and. Uh, that was, uh, like, that did make them upset. Now, Buterin is speaking up about what he does like in the space, including universal basic income and projects to build new cities, and what he doesn't. And he hopes to guide the space with soft power into a better, more equitable future.